Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hi there guys, how are we doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and in today's session, we'll be continuing with our lecture series on trusses. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. It goes like this. A truss is loaded and supported as shown in the figure. Find the axial forces in the members BD, CD and CE. Now before calculating the axial force in these three members, let us go ahead and let us find the reaction at supports that is at A and at H. At A, you can clearly see that there is a hinged support and hence two forces are going to be there. This is what you call HA and this is VA, simple. Here at point H, we have a roller support and hence there is going to be one single vertical reaction in the form of RH. All right. Now, in order to find these three unknowns, I need to have three equations and those three equations can be obtained from the equations of equilibrium. Okay. So now let's apply the first equation of equilibrium in the form of summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to zero. And if you watch carefully in this entire arrangement, there is only one force acting somewhere along the x axis or in the horizontal way that is HA. And hence you can say or you can conclude that HA is going to be zero. Okay, fine. What else? Now let us apply second equation of equilibrium f of y is equal to zero. Now guys, if you watch carefully, VA and RH, both of them are upwards, all right, and hence positive. So VA plus RH, done. One plus one plus one, three kilonewton acting in the downward direction in totality, hence negative sign is equal to zero. You can rewrite this. I can write this also as VA plus RH is equal to three. That's all. I'll be using this equation. I'll be referring to this equation just a bit later. But before that, um, I'll go ahead and I'll use this third equation of equilibrium, the most important one, summation of moment is equal to zero about a specific point. And the point that I'll choose is this point A. So the moment about point A is to be equated to zero. Now guys, if you watch carefully, HA and VA are passing through this point A itself and hence their moments are going to be zero. Therefore, we are left with four forces, one, one, one and this RH. Now this force RH produces an anti-clockwise moment at point A. Okay, so this is the force RH and this is the perpendicular distance which is equal to 4A. Alright, so let us write this um, RH multiplied by simply 4A and since it is anti-clockwise in nature, hence a positive sign. 1 multiplied by A, okay again clockwise moment, 1 multiplied by A, again this 1 multiplied by this 2A, alright minus 1 multiplied by 2a anything else this 1 multiplied by this how much is this this is 3a minus 1 multiplied by 3a all of this stuff is going to be equal to 0 we just need to solve this equation and rh shall probably work out as 1.5 kilonewtons which has to be put up here so that va is equal to 3 minus rh 3 minus 1.5 and you can say that va will be equal to again 1.5 kilo newtons that's it so guys um let me write it over here va has worked out as 1.5 k in ha obviously zero and rh worked out as again 1.5 kilo newtons all right now in the next step i'll be applying the method of sections all right for calculating the axial forces in the members bd cd and ce so let us pass a section through these three members, BD, CD and CE. Here it is. Now, let me have the axial force approaching the section from the left this way and from the right this way. This is member BD cut, F of BD. This is member CD cut, F of CD. Member CE cut, F of CE. Now we have three unknown axial forces and for solving them, we need three equations of equilibrium. Okay, so let me just write applying method of sections okay for applying method of sections i'm going to start off by using this moment equation again moment about a specific point has to be equated to zero okay let's let's start the hidden trial approach let's start examining joints or points okay let us start with point c if you take moment about point c point c is towards the left of the section and hence forces towards the right are to be considered that is these green colored forces and this blue colored one 
if you watch carefully f of cd f of ce both of them are passing through point c and hence their moments will be zero that means they are out of the moment equation out of the picture completely the only unknown actual force remaining in the equation will be this f of bd okay so it's it's a very beneficial if you can take moment about point c because point c will let you frame a moment equation with only f of bd as the unknown axial force so c is definitely an option all right let me examine uh, point d also what happens so if you take point d for example this is towards the right of the section and hence forces towards the left are to be considered these orange colored forces and this blue colored forces is what i am talking about and when you do so when you take the moment about point d this f of bd and f of cd both of them are passing through this point d and hence their moments will be zero the only unknown axial force that you are left with is this f of ce that means when you take moment about point d it allows you to frame a moment equation with only f of ce as the unknown axial force all right so option c and option t both of them are correct you can go ahead with either of them all right well i am pretty much inclined towards point d because when i take moment about point d i have less number of forces to deal with okay so let me take moment about point d and e equate it to zero all right fine so let's get started this is va producing a clockwise moment at point d all right and negative sign minus 1.5 multiplied by so this is the force this is the perpendicular distance please see where the mouse is hovering that is equal to twice of a okay what else is there again taking moment about point d we have this 1 kilo newton force which produces a sort of anti clockwise moment okay and then a positive sign 1 multiplied by what simply a this is 1 and this is a all right now these two forces f of cd and f of bd both of them are passing through d and hence their moments will be zero the only unknown axial force remaining is this f of ce again producing an anti clockwise moment at point d hence a positive sign name of the force is f of ce multiplied by this is the line of action of force okay please see where the mouse is hovering this is the line of action of force f of ce this is the perpendicular distance which is equal to how much simply a that's it is equal to zero you just need to solve this equation and you are going to eventually get the value of f of ce is equal to let me show you f of ce is equal to 2 kilo newtons so this is positive and hence you can make a judgment by saying that the ce member is under tension that's it okay now let us go ahead and let us apply the second equation of equilibrium summation of all the forces and y direction is equal to 0 you can go for f of x is equal to 0 also no issues okay so we are considering this left hand side portion only lhs okay because while taking the moment we took this point and hence the forces towards the left of the section were considered and that is going to be same for applying the f of y is equal to 0 and for applying f of x is equal to 0 okay now i have to look out for forces acting in sort of a vertical way all right now f of bd will not come into the picture f of ce also will not come into the picture all right now if you watch carefully guys this over here is 90 degree angle please be very careful all right this angle and this angle what can you say this distance is a this is how much this is also a and if you say that this angle over here is theta okay if i can just write over here theta i can calculate this tan theta is equal to how much simply perpendicular that is opposite upon base that is a so a upon a which is equal to 1 what is the value of theta for which its tangent is equal to 1 it's obviously theta is equal to 45 degrees okay so now we know very well that the angle over here is nothing but 45 degrees all right so let me just write it over here 45 degrees you can write it over here also 45 degrees it's absolutely your choice now what we need to do is this f of cd is going to have two components one component along this direction f of cd cos 45 and one component along this direction f of cd sin 45 now let us take this f of y is equal to 0 if you watch carefully va upwards all right 1.5 kg returns So 1.5 again. This 1 kilo newton is downwards, minus 1. What else is there? So we've got this f of c d sine 45 upwards again positive. 
f of c d sin 45 and all of this stuff is going to be equal to 0. Now it's going to be very simple f of c d will be equal to 1.5 minus 1 is uh, 0 0.5 which goes over here becomes negative so negative of 0 0.5 whole divided by this sine 45 you just need to do this calculation and f of c d will be working out as negative of 0 0.707 kilo newtons well basically negative sign indicates that this member c d c d member is under compression that's it and finally let us apply this equation of equilibrium f of x is equal to 0 now again h a will have no role to play its magnitude is 0 okay what else is there f of b d is there okay positive f of c e is also there it's it's also positive headed towards the right hand side so let me write this f of b d plus f of what c e any other force so we, we've got the horizontal component of f of cd over here f of cd cos 45 let me write this also plus f of cd cos 45 all of this equal to zero so what we want is we need to find the value of f of bd f of bd plus f of ce which is equal to 2 let me put a 2 over here and then plus f of cd how much is f of cd negative of 0 0.707 all right multiplied by cos 45 is equal to 0 well you just need to solve this equation and you're going to get the value of, of f of bd equal to negative of 1.5 kilo newtons that's it let us highlight the answers first one second one and this is the final one right let me highlight the reactions also okay so that was all from my side guys for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit I'll be back with more such videos on mechanics. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day and keep learning.